What it do, everybody? I'm your boy Trey. And I'm your boy Fred. And welcome to Bring Your Own Bottle Podcast. Man, show number what, two? Two. We did a show last week, but we had to scrap it. We had complications. We had man. camera problems, man. But man, I'm gonna tell y'all, man, we, we we just getting back into the groove of doing this, man. It's gonna get better. And that's you know, I'm trying to make sure everybody's on the same page. That's right. And we we gonna we gonna get it right, man. Oh, well, so. we got it right today, your boy. Uh, your boy got his camera set up nice. We we made the adjustments that needed to be made, and uh, and we back here to give y'all a good show. Look, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, go on, go down there and comment, and don't forget to share because we gonna bring you a banging show. All right. So uh, as you can see. Your boy is on fleek, like always. You know what I'm saying? Kodak moment. Yeah. So I'm feeling good. Your boy grooving on that goose. Got my goose right here. Got my goose. And he got me drinking. I told y'all I gave up drinking, man. He got me drinking again. Pre yeah. pressure is a mug, you know. Yeah, I, I yeah, well, I put I put that uh the nine to his head. I, I got him drinking, you know what I'm saying? I mean but uh yeah we back and um let's go ahead and get started let's go ahead and get started what man. you got what you got so, so man a couple of uh issues been going on around i seen uh other people been talking about giving out money you know do they see their stuff getting out money to let's say either family members homeless people strangers so my question to you do you do you see yourself at this point of your life giving out money to who? Either it could be family. I heard you say homeless people. Family, homeless, you know anybody in the need. You know it's tricky because with homeless people, I don't know them. We don't know them, and I had bad experience giving out money to homeless people. Uh, it was one time I only had fifty cent, and uh, this lady was like, "That's it." And she got upset and just, like, threw it on the ground. Uh, another bad experience was instead of giving out money, I had some food. And I think I had, like, some, uh, I don't know, snacks or something, some type of, uh, I don't know what it was, but it was food. And the person was upset. They want the money. But to answer your question, I have no problem, uh, you know, uh, giving out money to homeless people. I don't know them. And uh, I just don't like when they out there with the kids, man. That's, that's sad. I don't know. I see a lot of that going on. Is that on. a setup? You're using the kids, you know, uh, like like what's going on? Why the kids out there, man? I think they make you feel more sorry for them. I mean, I, I, think, you know, I think so, but I don't think a lot of that genuine, though. Yeah, I mean, some people probably just, yeah. It might just be real, though. You just never know. Okay, let's just say it's real. Look, if you give, whatever they do with that money, Long as God know in your heart, hey, you did what you supposed to right. do. Right. Right. As far as giving. Right. Whatever they do, they go, uh, they have a car, a, a Benz around the corner, and they need, they putting that in the gas tank. I remember they uh, used to do that back in the day, too. Or they, 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 they smoking dope. You know, smoking that, <laughs> smoking that shit. With, with your money, you know, uh, and you thinking they going to get something to eat, that's on them. Long as, you know, God know. You know, that money was from the heart. Now, we talking about family members, right? Family members, I try to put myself, and I take pride on this too, putting myself in a position where I don't have to ask nobody for nothing. Everybody, you know, there's somebody out there that need help. Everybody is not on, might not be on the level you own, and you're not on certain people level. You right. ain't at the top. So... Right. Um, it's been times where uh, I asked people for help. Uh, it was a time I didn't have a pickup truck. And I asked a few people I know, hey, I need your help moving this furniture, moving stuff. And I'm thinking, man, these guys are my friend. But, I'm, you know, it's like, man, these guys, even though they say yes, they, you know, they... Probably don't want to do it because they don't have time. Mm. Uh, and it's not always about the money, about mm. them giving them gas money. It's, 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 
you know, you, you're a burden on somebody because you're taking away from their time to help you. And and sometimes, uh, you know, people will say yes, but nine times out of ten, they really don't want to do it because they're busy, you know. And I done had people help me before, but as I got older, I realized the burden is like, let me go get my own pickup truck so I can move my own stuff so I don't have to ask nobody. Again, we all need help. When I moved in this house, I did ask people to help me uh, as far as load the couch mm. or load this, that. So, and and if I need you, because I don't ask nobody for nothing, I really need you. Okay. Right. But to answer your question, as far as the money, uh, I heard Willie D say this. I don't mind helping you long as it's not hurting me. <laughs> I like that. So with that said, I don't mind helping a family member, but have you tried to figure it out first? Have you tried before you, because it's easy to call me or call somebody mm -hmm. else, but did you try to figure it out first? Mm. You know, I know people that um, go to the club, they go to the club on Saturday or Sunday, spend all their money, and um, because they figure they, you know, payday is coming up the following week. You spend all your money at the club or on some shoes or whatever. And then you get a flat tire Tuesday, Wednesday. And now you spend all your money at the club. Now you calling somebody in the family that, you know, to give you money for a tire. I'll pay you back. It ain't about that. Mm -hmm. This money is for my kids, my mm -hmm. wife. Mm -hmm. You know how hard I had to work to make this money? Mm. If you didn't mess up your money, we we wouldn't be having this conversation. So you need to figure it out first. And then go down the line on the next steps to get the money. But, man, you grown. When I was in my 20s, I used to um, ask my dad for money because I wanted to be grown so bad. And I went out there, tried to be grown and figure it out. And I always came back home, went back out, that, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna ask this man for no money. I'm gonna be the one to ask him if he need any money. You know, that's my elder, that's my dad. He the one to raise me. What do you need? Uh, okay. You know, so yeah, I, I put myself, I take pride in that, put myself in a position not to ask nobody for money, especially when it comes to money. Again, we all need help. When I, you know, again, we need, the banks to give us a loan. We need the banks to give us a credit line, credit card, um, you know, get this house, get this car. So there you go. We all need some type of help. That's why it's very important to get your ass on the job, mm. work hard, just like the next man did. <laughs> yeah, just like the next man did and get your own. Get your own. And if you, uh, sometime in life, you might have to to find you some new friends because the people you think your friends are the ones that's hindering you to move from point A to point B to that next level in your career. It's people in your life, uh, uh, hanger ons, uh, the ones that stagnant in that position, talking about the same old thing, not talking about growth. You know, you want to surround yourself around people. <sighs> That's uh, that could teach you something. That could teach you something. I heard um, what's her name? I can't remember her name, but she said I think it was Trina. She said uh, she learned a lot from Missy. She learned if you in a room, mm -hmm. if you in a room with 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 people that you have more, you have more than these people. You in the wrong room. You need to be in a room with people that have more than you so you can learn from those people. Yeah, so to answer your question, man, uh, I, again, I don't have no problem loaning you money, but as long as it's not hinder, hindering me, oh, and I know when I'm being used too. <laughs> hmm. I like that. Yeah. That's words of wisdom. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> to piggyback what you said, bro, um, at this point in my life, I don't have no problem lending money.
But the question is, are you trustworthy for me to give you the money? If I'm going to have to be asking for it every week or how long is it going to take you to pay me back? Or if you got to pay me in installments, because I expect the way I gave you the money is the way that I expect to receive it back. And, um, you know, for let's just, you know, even for family or anything, like, bro, I don't got no problem lending out money. It's just to the point where I have kids now, so I'm more responsible with my money. And I look at life a different way now that I got kids. So I have to make sure if I'm going to lend out money, I got to make sure they got food on the table. You know what I'm saying? And uh, homeless people, yeah, I, I lend. I give money like twenty dollars, thirty dollars, and you know, and I see a lot of people be recording it on like, oh, yeah, look, it's a homeless guy, but I'm finna go bless him, and bro, you don't need no validation for that, man. Just do it out of the kindness of your heart. I be seeing a lot of people doing it for for clout and all that, yeah. And I think it's 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 bad, you know. What I'm saying it, nowadays, you know, everybody gotta record everything that they do, and especially if it's shaming the other person and I think that's kind of messed up but um I don't have no problem lending our money it just I gotta make sure home is taken care of first you know and just simple as that um sometimes if somebody asks me you know they think because you know I'm <laughs> living decent you know they think I always have money but hell my my livelihood is you know I, I according to my paycheck <laughs> I should say so um I have no problem leaning on money, and I'm just leaving it at that. Yeah, well, you know what? <clears throat> what I try not to do is I try my best to... <sighs> they say when you get to a certain level in your life, as far as financially, you're going to have people say you're acting funny. And I've been getting told that for a long time. And I'm like, is it me? And I thought about it. You know, it's not me because to move to the next level, you might have to act funny, cut people off, stop taking phone calls. Uh, you know, uh, what are we talking about on the phone? We're talking about the same shit we were talking about yesterday. The same shit we were talking about last week. We ain't talking about no growth. We ain't talking about expanding, getting this business, getting this bag. You want to talk about the same old shit. Cookie, cookie, cookie. You know, the same old shit. He, he, ha, ha, ha. The same old shit. Nonsense. You know, it's all about the bag, man. Let's get this bag. Let's get this money. Let's get rich. Now, that money, giving out money, I, I try my best. You know, I tell people... Hey, you know, I don't have it and I might have it, but I don't have it to give because once you start that shit, then they know they can always call you. Once yeah. you start that one time, you give out money. They're going to think you are an ATM machine. I fuck off my money. I know I can always go to him. He said yes the, the last time. Now I'm a walking ATM machine. <laughs> you know, you see what I'm saying? You know, man, look, you got people come from across the world, across the water, different countries come over here, go to school, lawyer, doctors, uh, you know, uh, pharmacists, mm -hmm. dentists, or whatever, go to school, get that bag, 100, 200,000, 400,000 a year. Meanwhile, you've been in the States all your goddamn life. Pants hanging off your ass, asking the next man for money. Money. But if that man asks you for for something, you don't got shit. I can't do nothing, big dog. I don't got it. Oof. You see what I'm saying? Look, like I told Fred, <clears throat> uh, this statement. It's a statement he like. If your credit is bad with the bank, then your credit is bad with me. <laughs> Oh man, bro, that's that's deep, man. This this guy got wisdom, man. Okay, man. So, so now, at this point of your life, how would you, how what advice would you give to the people that's trying to get to your level? Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. So, 
the level I'm at in my life, my journey is still going. This is just a stepping stone, huh. you know. So, you mean the level I'm at today? That's easy, huh. you know. Um, you're gonna have to do an evaluation of your life. You're gonna have to get by yourself and meditate, cause when you're around people. All the time, you can't think. You got to get by yourself and think about uh, the, that level, that next level, you know, the goal. This goal, pop, 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 you know, uh, that, that you want to be. You know, you're gonna, you might have to cut some people off. You might have to stop taking phone calls, that same call all the time. You know, you might have to um, be a little bougie. Act funny what they say, you know. I'm a firm believer of uh, not having too many people in my circle. Hmm. Um, so my advice for you to get to that next level, you're going to have to make some changes. You might have to get off that video game. You might have to get off social media. You might have to... Uh, uh, you know, go back to school. You know, you might have to surround yourself around people with game and knowledge to help you get to that next level on whatever that level is. Because if you surround yourself around low lifes, uh, what they say, you are what you eat. Hmm. You around these, these bums, you a bum. Hmm. Don't bring them around me. Get your ass on, you hey. know. So my goal is to get to the next level. I don't mind giving advice. Somebody gave me advice. You know, I do, I do a lot more reading now. I do a lot more research. You know, you know uh, what you like can, be, can hinder you, like too much social media. But it's a good in social media. It's mm -hmm. a good too much YouTube, but it's a good in YouTube. Right. You know, so... so I do a lot of research to find out uh, how can I get to the next level. There's a lot of people that live day by day and don't think about getting old. You know, we dying young. I plan to live old. So uh, I'm not perfect. I know I have to, to, to eat better. I need to exercise. I need to go to the doctor more often, mm -hmm. do my checkup. Um... Yeah, I need to pray more. I need to uh, spend time with my family more. Learn how to be a better husband, a better provider, a better father, you know, a better man of God. So it's a lot that I need to work on. And all that balled up in one going to help me get to that next level. So, again, to get to that next level, get by yourself and meditate and think, you know, what's holding you back? It's only one thing holding you back, and that's you. Huh. I like I like that. Don't never use the word can't in your vocabulary. I can't. I tell my kids, don't never let me hear you say the word can't. You can do and be whatever you want to be in life. All you have to do is put your mind to it. Do the work. Just do the work. You'll get the result. Even if you fail, at least you tried. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like Dame Dad said, everybody might not be a boss. You you know, I believe there's more followers than uh than than leaders. But uh, you know, to be a good leader, you gotta be a good follower. You gotta be a student. You know, you have to do your own research, surround yourself around positive people, you know, that's talking about something. You know, you're the only person holding yourself back. So uh my journey is is an ongoing journey. Uh, so to get to that next level, you're going to have to, you know, get by yourself and think about what you need to do as far as what's best for you, whatever that is, only, you know, love it, man. Boy, I love even hearing, hearing this guy talk. <laughs> um, the best advice I can give somebody is, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Same thing. Stay to yourself. Watch the company you keep. If you have a goal to reach, give yourself a, 
let's say a five year plan. So you want to be in a house, let's say by in four years. So whatever you need to do in that four years, like example, work on your credit, um, income, of course, make sure, you know, you got to get the right income, um, read, build your knowledge. And I, you know, I don't like to tell people to invest, but to honestly, man, learn how to invest. You know what I'm saying? We, and we, and that goes back to the first topic we talked about. Um, like, you know, I give most of my money to the stocks, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm trying to get to another level in life. Cause I know these jobs is not going to get, you know, me in a big mansion. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to close. Well, I'm working on my second house right now. So, um, <laughs> appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And bro, it's levels to this stuff. It's levels. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I wasn't going to get the big house for my first house. You know what I'm saying? Cause my money I only do what my money allowed me to do, you know? And, um, a lot of people, uh, like social media have people broke. <laughs> this, this is going to be off topic, but social me media gets people broke because they look at what other people have. And a lot of like these people walking around and they, they big mansion and they probably be renting it. You know, they be driving these little Lamborghinis, but they probably be renting it. And I want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to see if I can go take out a loan just to go get another loan. And that's how you become in debt. And that's not the type of life you want to live, man. That's the worst advice somebody could tell you, man. Go push yourself in debt to, to, to own this and that. And like, nah, it's all, I learned the hard way. You know what I'm saying? It's all a game. But to get back on topic, man, stay to yourself, watch the company you keep, and read. Read, read. And right, Trey? Read. Yeah, you you got to research. read, man. Yeah. You got to do your research. You can't just jump out here and say, hey, like you know it all, man, because that's when you're going to bump your head. Um, so. All right. So that's it. We're gonna head, we're gonna go ahead and close. This is gonna this is part one of two. Cause we're not gonna be recording. Uh we're not recording next week. So this is part one. We're gonna go ahead and say thank y'all for tuning in. Uh please subscribe, like, comment, and share. This has been a great show. Wanna say thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for rocking with us. We on a whole nother level, a whole nother plateau with this, man. You know, uh, we shooting for the stars, and they coming back down, you know. Uh, we feeling good. We on our grown man right now. And, again, this is part one of part two. of two. Part one of two. And I want to say thank y'all. All right? We out. Peace. Alice.